The story of Word in Life publications, in many ways, sounds like how a fine pearl goes through a process of development from its very humble beginning to being such a precious gem. Now that Word in Life publications is celebrating the pearl anniversary of its existence, it is a grace-filled experience to go back in time and reminisce its very humble beginnings as well as its growth up to the present. Just like a precious pearl, the development of Word in Life publications is astonishing in many ways. Musing on, it fills the heart with wonder, for many things seen from a distance may appear rather different from what they looked like when they were taking place. They are now seen clearly as parts of a greater whole, links of a chain of which someone knew the design perfectly long before its completion. While we could see only one link at a time, as it took shape, often laboriously and puzzlingly, we recall the main events of these past 30 years of service of Word and Life publications, the evangelization and catechesis. With gratitude to the Lord Jesus and to all those who have been instrumental in its establishments and development. In 1989, as the local church in the Philippines observed 1989 as National Bible Year, Father Salvatore Putsu, SDB, who was then working for the Episcopal Commission on Catechesis and Catholic Education, or ECHE, as Assistant Executive Secretary, laid the foundations of Word and Life Center in the basement of the yet unfinished Holy Family Shrine along Faraday Street, Makati City. Thanks to them, Provincial Superior, Father Francesco Panfilo, SDB, who supported the idea of Father Sal in helping the faithful grow more in their enthusiasm in reading the Word of God. As the local church in the Philippines proclaimed the year 1990 as National Catechetical Year, Word and Life Publications took it as one of its priorities to be fully involved in the many activities promoted by the ECHE office for the year-long event. During the National Catechetical Year, Father Sal went around the country to give seminars on the National Catechism as he also promoted Word in Life pamphlets and their Tagalog version, Ang Salita at Buhay. Those promised things gradually help Word and Life publications to be known in many parts of the country. The circulation of Word and Life pamphlets reached 4,000 in its first year, 1990 to 1991, and on its second year, it reached the border of 7,000 copies per issue. Thanks to the support of then Etch's new chairman, Bishop Federico O. Escaler, S.J., and to the help rendered by Father Sal's old-time friend, Dr. Fe Hernandez, a professor at the Centro Escolar University in Mendiola, who convinced a good number of schools of the Mendiola Consortium to subscribe to Word and Life. In July 1991, Word and Life Publications was formally registered with the Securities and Exchange Commission under the name of Word and Life Incorporated. Some years later, the official name was changed to Word and Life Publications in order to distinguish the publisher from the periodical. By mid-1991, Archbishop Manuel Salvador, the Auxiliary Bishop of Cebu, got interested in the periodical Word and Life and volunteered to translate it into Cebuano as Pulong Ugkinabuhi. 
reaching 5,000 copies in circulation, this Cebuano translation lasted for five years. It came to an abrupt end in 1996 when the good Archbishop Salvador died in a car accident. In December 1992, Word and Life Publications started printing its Word and Life pamphlets in two colors. New features were added like the Life of Saints in comics, thematic articles, crossword puzzles, and some trivia. The number of circulation kept on increasing. In February 1993, the Holy Family Shrine was to be turned over to the Archdiocese of Manila and be made a parish. Word and Life Center was consequently transferred to the San Ildefonso Parish Development Center in M. Reyes Street, Makati City. In January 1994, Archbishop Leonardo Legaspi, the re-elected Eche Chairman, asked Father Sal to be the Executive Secretary of the Commission. He accepted it after being given the go signal by his provincial superior then, Father Luciano Capelli, SDB. In the same year, 1994, Word and Life Publications was able to secure the endorsement of the Catholic Bishops' Conference of the Philippines, or CBCP, to co-publish the Catechism of the Catholic Church with Etcher. Word and Life Publications committed itself to shoulder all the financial and technical burden of such a huge project. Father Sal took the challenge as he felt an invisible hand and voice speaking firmly in his heart to take it. The same hand and voice that had led him to start Word and Life Publications five years earlier. With the generous help of people like Ms. Pasita Soriano and the senior members of the Halandoni, Lopez, and Vargas families who wholeheartedly supported the endeavors of Word and Life Publications, Father Sal was able to generate the needed funds and technical support for this first mega project of this still infant publication house. During the CBCP 1994 mid year assembly, Father Sal was able to send to each bishop of the CBCP a copy of the Catechism of the Catholic Church. It was such a very big accomplishment by a small publisher that was barely five years old. Indeed, it was the mighty hands of God at work. With the printing and dissemination of the CCC, the name Word and Life associated with the prestigious Etche and CBCP came to be known all over the country. In 1995, Word and Life publications received from the Asian Catholic Publishers the award Publisher of the Year for its outstanding and excellent job done with the Catechism of the Catholic Church in terms of book design and layout. Big thanks to Ms. Lorna Lavado and Ms. Cecil Gomez, the layout artist, and Mr. Louis Reyes, consultant and printer. On that same year, 1995, Word and Life Publications published new titles that led the way to series of other endeavors. In March 1995, it published Pope John Paul II's encyclical Evangelium Vitae with subject index and other study aids and relevant articles by the Philippine authorities. This was the first of what would become a long series of similar study editions of papal documents which only Word and Life Publications is now known for. It was also this year, 1995, that the now very popular posters of the New Way of the Cross was published for the first time. The designs were created by the late artist Bid Hernani V. Cleofe under the direct supervision of Father Sal. 
The year 1997 saw, among other things, the beginning of Exploring God's Word, an offshoot of Word in Life magazine. But the biggest event in 1997 was the publication of the Catechism for Filipino Catholics. With new titles being published and with a gradual increase among its staff, Word in Life publications finally found itself in need of a bigger space to work and to store its products. In 1999, after several attempts to look for a bigger space for the work that continued to expand, God granted Word in Life publications its needed space. By the second half of 1999, Father Francis Gustillo, the provincial superior then, invited Word in Life publications to transfer to the provincial house and occupy the mezzanine and use a portion of the warehouse of Salishana Publishers. This was one best birthday gift to Word and Life Publications as the Divine Providence for its 10th anniversary celebration. That wonderful prospect, however, did not materialize for several practical difficulties presented by the occupants of the mezzanine. In conclusion, Word and Life Publications had to be contented with about 80 square meters instead of the promised 500 square meters. A painful surprise which was remedied only in 2010. During the advent of 1999, Word and Life Publications took over from Salishana Publishers the production and circulation of the Misalep and Patnubay Samisa, which at that time was already suffering from a steady decline in circulation. Word and Life Publications changed the name of Misalet to Yucalet while retaining the name of Patnubay Samisa. July 28, 2000 Miss Pasita Soriano, one of the most supportive benefactors of Word and Life Publications, joined the creator on this great jubilee year. She was one of the Divine Providence's best instruments in making His work flourish through Word and Life publications. Even after her death, all her relatives continued to help Word and Life publications through occasional donations and especially through the Pasita Soriano Foundation. In 2002, while propagating the expanded rosary with the Mysteries of Light added by Pope John Paul II, Word and Life Publications produced numerous pamphlets, prayer books and posters, and other devotional materials on the new rosary. By advent of 2002, Word and Life Publications published the pocket edition of the Catechism of the Catholic Church with the valuable help of Lorna Lavado, a young lay partner who had been with Word and Life Publications from its first days. The CCC Pocket Size Edition was an instant success as Word and Life Publications' bestseller Christmas gift item. In 2003, Word and Life Publications began the serialization of The Word of God the four-volume series of Sunday Biblical Catechesis by Father John Larea, SBB, a veteran Salesian Spanish missionary in India. Its publication, both in English and in Tagalog, was a major editorial undertaking with Miss Lady Ramos and Dr. Cecilia Valmonte doing the adaptation to the Philippine setting and translation in Tagalog. 2003 also marked the birth of Pambatang Catechesis that was meant for catechists teaching children of grade school. Conceptualized and launched as a simple catechetical leaflet by Father Alex Garces SDB when he was still a cleric, Word and Life Publications gradually developed into a full-fledged catechetical quarterly periodical in Tagalog. 
On this same year, 2003, Word in Life Publications was invited by then CBCT Vice President Archbishop Ledesma to publish the Compendium of the Social Doctrine of the Church. And the CMMA goes to Word and Life by the Word and Life Publication. Congratulations. The year 2004 was memorable for Word and Life Publications on account of the conferment by the Catholic Mass Media Awards, CMMA, of the trophy Best Youth Magazine to its mother publication, Word and Life Magazine. It was one precious gift to Word and Life Publications as it celebrated its 15th anniversary. The first Sunday of Advent in 2004 saw the birth of Bispera Severitas, a weekly catechetical radio program of Word and Life Publications in cooperation with Word Media Ministry. It is aired over Radio Veritas every Saturday, 5 o'clock in the afternoon until 6 o'clock in the evening. This year, 2019, it will celebrate its 15th anniversary. Big thanks to the benefactors, especially to the relatives of Miss Pasita Soriano and their families, who never stop helping finance the weekly program. April 1, 2005 Word and Life Publications experienced an immense loss in the passing away of its original artist, Bid Hernani B. Leofe, the author of all the posters of New Way of the Cross, The New Rosary, The Trail of Light, and hundreds of other illustrations. The year 2005 saw Word in Life Publications co-publishing with other Philippine Catholic publishers the Compendium of the Catechism of the Catholic Church, the long-awaited summary of the CCC. In 2006, with a successful exhibit on the Sacred Heart of Jesus held in Glorieta, Makati City, Word in Life Publications published two pamphlets, Hearts Ablaze with Love, and the Litany of the Sacred Heart, and launched the Messenger of Divine Love, a quarterly periodical meant to give depth to the devotions of the Sacred Heart, the Divine Mercy, and the Immaculate Heart of Mary. In August 2007, Word and Life Publications opened its mini Word and Life religious store just beside Amici Restaurant and Miriam and Webster Bookstore along A. Arnaiz Avenue, Makati City. October 29, 2008 Father Sal, the founder of Word and Life Publications, received the prestigious Servium Award from the Catholic Mass Media Awards for his outstanding contribution in the field of evangelization and catechesis. The year 2009 was a blessed year for Word and Life Publications. The Claritian Communications Pastoral Bible Foundation invited Word and Life Publications and St. Paul's Publications to publish the Christian Community Bible. This was one long cherished dream of Word and Life Publications to contribute in a more complete manner to the Biblical Apostolate in the Philippines. Word and Life Publications, of course, accepted the invitation immediately as it saw it a clear sign of God's plan. August 22, 2011 Dr. Cecilia Valmonte, one of Word and Life Publications, and Word Media Ministries lay volunteers since 2002 passed away after suffering from cancer since 2006. She was one of the original anchors of Bisperas Severitas. Her departure was indeed a great loss for the many who appreciated her academic excellence, her moral integrity, her professionalism, and reliability. 
2011 also saw Word in Life publications producing wall and desk calendars and packet planners that are rich in catechetical notes, liturgy guides, and other helpful pieces of information. By the end of this year, 2011, Father Eli Cruz, SDB, the Provincial Superior, granted the request of Father Sal to occupy the vacated space of the mezzanine by a trucking company that had been renting it since 2002. This became Word in Life Publications' home for the past eight years now. In 2013, Word in Life Publications received the CMMA Best Comic Story Award for its Pedro Calungsod Young Catechist and Martyr, an account of the young saint's life in comic strips that was published in 2012 in preparation for the canonization of this young Filipino martyr. In 2014, Word and Life Publications celebrated the silver anniversary of its foundation with the commemorative issue of Word and Life magazine, highlighting all the wonderful things the Lord had done over the past 25 years. Onward to tomorrow with more impossible dreams to reach and fulfill. In 2015, Father Bernard P. Nolasco, SDB, received the CMMA Hall of Fame Award for his column Between the Lines that was and still is regularly published in Word and Life magazine. In 2017, Word and Life Publications won all its entries in various categories in the 39th Catholic Mass Media Award, Word and Life Magazine for Best Youth-Oriented Magazine, Miss Glady Ramos for Best Entertainment Column, and Father Remo Bati SDV for Best Comic Story. October 12, 2018 Father Sal celebrated his 80th birthday together with his Salesian Conquerors, Word and Life family, benefactors and friends. At 80, Father Sal has no sign of slowing down. He continues to dream in reaching even the unreachable stars with deep trust in divine providence. For him, everything is God's work. He knows that he is just a simple worker in the vineyard of the Lord. Also in 2015, Word in Life magazine received the CMMA Hall of Fame Award as Best Youth Magazine. The firstborn child of Word in Life publications has reached such an honor from the prestigious Catholic award-giving body. Indeed, this is God's precious gift to Word in Life publications as God continues to manifest His marvelous support to all those who make Word and Life publications God's instrument in spreading His good news here in the Philippines and beyond. While enjoying the Hall of Fame honors, Word and Life publications clinched two other CMMA victories. The breathtaking story of Fatima in comic strip for best comic story and Miss Lady Ramos for Best Entertainment Column for the third straight year. This year, 2019, with gratitude to the Lord Jesus, Word and Life Publications gives glory to God for all the blessings received throughout these three decades, the difficulties and the challenges, the achievements and the accolades, the hard lessons learned, the generous benefactors, the support and the trust of clients, the dedication of volunteers, and of the past and present lay mission partners, the pastoral heart of the Salesians then and now, and most of all, the faith of Father Salvatore Putsu SDB, who believes that the Lord God is the real founder of Word and Life Publications. The fate of Father Sal allows him to dream even the impossible dream because for him, he is only a humble worker of the Almighty God 
with whom nothing is impossible. As Word and Life Publication celebrates its 30 years of spreading the good news of the Lord Jesus through its many publications and the radio apostolate, it looks beyond with more dreams to fulfill, more endeavors to complete, more people and places to reach. With God's bountiful blessing, the people of Word and Life Publications are ready to take that leap of faith to go where God is leading them always at the service of catechesis and evangelization. Word and Life Publications at the service of catechesis and evangelization since 1989.